Welcome to our series on climate change risk and oversight for directors. Increasingly, directors need to demonstrate that they understand climate change and its implications for the businesses that they help to oversee. Climate change will have significant impacts on economies, the stability of global financial markets, and the companies that operate within them. Climate change is real. It is global. The consequences are severe and intensifying, and humans are the driving force of this impending crisis. Central banks, investors, lenders, and insurance underwriters are all calling the climate crisis a systemic risk to our financial system. No business, regardless of the sector, is immune, and companies that fail to address the climate crisis and the business risks it creates will do so at their own peril. For business leaders, a new duty of care is emerging. Corporate directors must be proactive in understanding the science behind the climate crisis and in exploring future climate scenarios to assess their implications for society and for the businesses that they lead and govern. Climate change is a complex challenge with significant business risks. To manage these risks, corporate directors must consider intersecting scientific, macroeconomic, and policy-related uncertainty over timeframes much longer than conventional strategic planning cycles. Let's start with what we know about climate science. Human activities, including the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation and land use change, release carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, and other greenhouse gases. Over the last century, the concentration of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has increased steadily, reaching levels significantly higher than anything on record in the last 800,000 years. Of all industrial carbon dioxide emitted since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, more than half has been released since 1988, the same year the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change began its work. As greenhouse gases accumulate in the atmosphere, they trap heat. This is causing a long-term increase in global average temperatures, a phenomenon called global warming. Scientists have issued warnings about climate change since at least the 1980s, but recent evidence suggests that climate change is advancing even faster than we initially thought. This is because of tipping points in the Earth's climate system that may lead to abrupt climate changes. One of these tipping points has to do with the ocean's capacity to absorb carbon dioxide and heat from the atmosphere. Oceans are the largest carbon sink on the planet. They currently absorb 30% of the carbon we emit and 90% of the excess heat. But at some point, the oceans won't absorb as much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, leading to a more rapid accumulation and thus faster climate change. There is another issue. As oceans absorb carbon dioxide, the acidity of the water also increases, and this poses a serious threat to ocean coral and other sea life. Another tipping point has to do with greenhouse gases trapped in ice. Vast amounts of carbon dioxide and methane are stored in frozen deposits under the ocean floor called gas hydrates, or under permafrost in high latitudes. The gases in these hydrates are precariously close to being released because of rising temperatures. If this happens, massive amounts of greenhouse gases will be emitted into the atmosphere, with grave consequences for climate change. Forests and soil are also carbon sinks, storing one quarter of global carbon emissions. But deforestation is rampant. Globally, we are losing an area of tree cover equivalent to the size of the United Kingdom every year. By damaging these vital carbon sinks, we are eroding the very foundations of our economies, livelihoods, food security, health, and quality of life. While there may be potential to develop artificial carbon sinks like carbon capture and storage, no technology can match the scale and efficiency of the Earth's natural systems. Greenhouse gas emissions from human activities are changing the climate so quickly that ecosystems and human society are struggling to adapt. Changes to our climate are already impacting people worldwide, and these impacts disproportionately threaten countries in the global south and black, indigenous, and people of color communities around the world, even though historically, they have contributed the least to the climate crisis. The climate risk to businesses and society will continue to worsen unless we are able to rapidly transition to a net zero economy, 
while making appropriate investments in climate adaptation. In the next section, we delve further into these climate impacts.